Hello to all of you Arsenal lovers, welcome back, it's good to see you again, my name is Brad and here is Arsenal Daily News, a community for Arsenal lovers here, we're gonna talk about everything, every rumors, transfer news, players, competitions, lineups and so on. So make sure that you already subscribed us and if you didn't, it would make me so happy if you subscribe us right now and if you like this video. So today we're gonna talk about some different news, some uh, news about players, some uh, rumors and see what's gonna happen. According to the Times, uh, Arsenal are on the UEFA's financial fair play watch list. According to some news sources, UEFA will soon prepare to sanction 10 clubs in next month that have violated financial fair play rules before the 2021 season. Barcelona, Juventus, Inter Milan, Paris Saint-Germain, Arsenal and another teams are in the list. Uh, this is while the heads of the club say that they have followed the rules of UEFA and have not received any warning from European uh, governing body. On the other hand, according to, to the Sun, there are no uh, concerns about any financial fair play violations by Arsenal. Arsenal have been uh, in the spotlight because they are spending money and UEFA have been quick to scrutinize them. According to the Sun, there is no danger to Arsenal and they can spend even more. So uh, I don't think there is a uh, danger, there is any danger for Arsenal. There is no, nothing gonna happen because they didn't do anything wrong. They are doing their best to uh, confirm the rules and do everything to uh, be in the rules and I think it's just rumors because they want to get money because this is their job but there's not gonna happen Arsenal didn't do anything wrong and is not doing anything wrong as you know they want a Pedro Neto but, but because of uh, the rules of financial fair play they can't spend so much money so they just stay to see what's gonna happen but they they're not gonna break the rules they are not uh, like that i don't think so it's gonna happen and it's not true i don't think so i have no idea about it but as i know there is nothing important about that nothing nothing special because arsenal didn't break the rules and didn't do anything wrong the next news about uh, is about the exits of the club Arsenal is trying to get back some of the money spent by selling players like Bayerin and others. According to some news and rumors, Barcelona is interested in recruiting this player and may soon make an offer to buy Hector Bayerin. Arsenal is interested in selling this player and uh, is not interested in terminating this player's contract because they want to make money from this player. As you know, the Real Betis tried to uh, buy this player, but they wanted the player to uh, terminate his contract and then they w uh, buy this player for free and they can recruit him for free and spend with uh, spending no money to uh, recruit this player. But Arsenal didn't accept their offer and didn't accept uh, Bayern's offer to terminating his contract. So uh, now his new uh, now there is some uh, new teams want this player there is some new teams like barcelona and other players it seems that barcelona is going to buy this player i'm not sure about it but this is what rumors said it would be great if for the club and for the player both of them would be good with that it would be a great uh, good news for both of them because uh, bayern can play for another team and Arsenal can get money. I think it's good for both of them and it would be great if this happens. The next player is Maitland Niles. According to the most news outlets Everton, Southampton, Fulham, West Ham and Nottingham Forest are interested in recruiting this player. Arsenal wants to sell this player because his contract will expire uh, this year. This is the last season we, we saw this player and we are not gonna see him anymore because Arsenal really didn't want, doesn't want him and 
for me it's not there is no space for this player i think we have good defenders we have saliba we have uh Magal hayes we have players like uh ben white we have tomiasso cedric suarez and we have zinchenko we have tierney so i think there is no space for this player uh better options for him i hope to see him succeed and i i hope to see him in a better team for himself because uh, he wants to play for a team and i i wish to see him playing for another team because he is not able to play for us anymore i think it would be good if we sell this player because getting money is good for the club and they can buy other players also there is still some rules and uh, rumors and uh, news about Tielemans so if they want to buy Tielemans and Pedro Neto in the same time they have to uh, they have to sell some players because they need more money and also because of the financial fair play rules they has they have to spend they have to sell players and they have to get money so that they can buy other players also in the end according to Fabrizio Romano the transfer of Nicolas Pepe to Nice is almost done and only the details of the agreement remain. Nicolas Pepe is leaving uh, Arsenal on a loan deal without a permanent Porsche clause. So uh, Arsenal doesn't want to sell this player, I'm sure about it because they spent so much money for him and they don't want to uh, sell this player for nothing. I mean extremely, extremely nothing because they want this player for only 25 million euros but you got him with about 75 or 80 million euros which is so much money and I think it's better for the player and for the club uh, a loan transfer is good for both of them he can improve he can prove that he deserves to be in the lineup and he can uh, do the, his best to come back with more power more abilities and uh, be in the starting lineup of the Arsenal. Next year would be great for the team and for the player if he came back with uh, more talents, more abilities and I'm sure we're gonna be in the Champions League next year so that we can use a good player like Nicolas Pepe next year with more abilities. So I think Nicolas Pepe uh, will join Nice. Also there is some rumors and news that Leicester City wants this player but I, I'm not sure. I don't think so it's gonna happen, uh, the most uh, possible one is uh, Nice and I don't think Leicester City wants to buy this player really, it's just rumors and not, not gonna happen. I don't know, I have no idea about it but I'm sure about Nice that this player is going to join him. But about Leicester City, no I don't think so, it's just rumors. So what do you think about this all news, about uh, rules, about UFA? Uh, rules and what's gonna happen I don't think so there is I don't think there is any danger for the team and I I think it's just rumors about it because uh, Arsenal didn't do anything wrong and there is no danger for them also about the players I hope to see them leaving the team because it's good for all of them Maitland, uh, Maitland Niles, uh, Bayerin and also Pepe it would be great for them to leave the team because they can buy for a team they, they can play for a team and they can be in the lineup more minutes i think there is no space for them and they have to leave the team but about nicolas pepe i'm sure he's going to back came back to the team with more abilities and powers and would be useful for the team in next season so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe us don't forget to turn on the notification icon and don't forget to like this vid video I hope you feel good today, wherever you are. Until next video, goodbye. So guys, this is it. Thanks for watching this video. Here is a channel for Arsenal lovers. So make sure that you already subscribed to us. And don't forget to turn on the notification icon. Until next video, take care of yourself.